All right, guys. So we're we're doing um, we are doing a Q and A today. Um, September's coming up, so I'm going to announce our kind of a model roster that we're going to have on there. And so I can't wait to put the new announcements on there and uh, what we're doing for September and getting our store showed up and everything. So uh, th I thought this would be neat for everybody to meet some couple of the models that are working with us a long time. Lucas, who is now our top model, he's been working with us for 10 years now. So yay. long if you ask me. 10 years. <laughs> I was like, I, I, I just find it so funny that, you know, I get people like, uh, one model thought you were a minor, and then another model I worked with was like, man, they're so old. It's like, <laughs> I was like, how <laughs> can you be old and young looking? I don't understand that one. I don't make no sense to me. <laughs> I get that a lot too. I have people that are be like, "Oh, you're not old enough to join this group," and I'll be like, "What?" And then there'll be people that are like, "You're way too old to hang out with us." And I'm like, "I don't even want to hang out with you." What are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> oh no, no, no! All right, so then uh, we worked with Sierra for about a couple of years. Uh, met them in uh, <laughs> one little tiny con, and 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 here's the thing about us doing these uh, these videos. Even, you know, you think about all the money, I was thinking about this today, all the money that people put in for these panels and these big cons and everything like that, and then all of them are hanging out with us making videos. And, you know, I can verify a couple of instances. But I was uh, I was over at MTAC, which uh, one day Sarah and Lucas will have to hit the MTAC one day. I'm planning on going next year, finally. Yeah, I hope so, because I'm like... I'm so mad that it didn't go this year, um, but we were at MTech one time, and so like you got, all the, I, I was, you know, I, I asked people, I said, "You guys go on a panel, and if you are, just go ahead and go to your panel." And and the the kids were like, "Yeah, we got panel, but we got time if you want to, you know, do the name that cosplay video, you know." Okay, okay, let's let's do that. So I'm doing the name, the cosplay, and then uh, the girl says, "Oh, it's time to go to our panel." And one girl's like, "I'm staying here until we finish this." <laughs> she might have been like, I mean, she was smaller than kiddo, but it was like, "Look, I started this. I'm gonna finish it." <laughs> until I get I'm gonna see it through. I'm gonna see it through. It's like, okay, that's fine. We're cool with it. <laughs> All right, so so we got twenty questions that we're gonna do, um, and we'll give you both a chance to answer. I guess I'll start with Sierra and then go to Lucas, and then I'm not gonna answer him because I'm not a model, so because <laughs> I don't have to. All right, so here. All right, so first of all, let's go to Sierra. All right, so here's our question, and then what? Cosplay are you best known for? Uh, my best known one would actually be my Ruby Rose one from RWB. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. The Mexican Ruby Rose. <laughs> yeah, the Mexican Ruby Rose. I love like, like, uh, Papi. I did a TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I did TikTok, and someone was like, did you go to Riverview Inn as Ruby? I was like, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the one I remember you the most because I remember you dancing to uh, Jiminy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kiddo, what is the cosplay that you are best known for? Okay, so... I, I've got a few answers to that question. Okay. So since I've been cosplaying for such a long time... Uh, for the beginning few years of my cosplay debut, everyone knew me as Honey from Oron. That was my, yeah, that was my biggest cosplay. <laughs> everyone knew me as him. Like, you didn't see me on the con floor without the huge pink bunny. Like, that was just me. Um, I'd say now, people more know me for, obviously, the Len cosplays that I do since I've got a lot of different variations of that and then I also have a lot of variations of CL so I think CL and Len are the two that I'm most known for nowadays 
Yeah, I, I recognize this. Yeah, I should have done more with you with CL. We still got plenty of time to do CL. All right. And now we have a solid Sebastian, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. We got a cute we... little Sebastian, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> we got the whole crew. All right. Best compliment that you got on a cosplay. The best compliment. <laughs> hold on, I'm thinking. Hold on. <laughs> um, I think it was when I did the female Natsu one, and they was like how they liked how I um, try to keep it as um, close to the um, male Natsu as possible, and like you know how he had the um, well, he didn't really have a shirt, so I tried to make like a little wrap and show as like less skin as to be like close to him so I guess that was like the most like getting close to the male version as possible I guess right <laughs> I remember that cosplay too when we released a video with you wearing it and the and the comment below says I want to <laughs> date her and then I was like get in line <laughs> <laughs> I was struggling with that so much because like I didn't I forgot the safety pins so it was just slowly falling down. and i keep i keep on promising to get safety pins do i ever bring them no every time i say i'm gonna no. bring them i'm gonna bring them and i never do and it's like especially when we were doing dance videos you got wigs just flopping back and forth and here i am got no bobby pins and here's the thing if you go downstairs by uh we have a you know nice little sewing machine right there and there's like a whole bunch of bobby pins and I don't ever take them. And it's like, um, you know, and I don't know why. I keep on forgetting. All right, so you, kiddo, what was the best compliment you ever got with a cosplay? Um, I think my favorite one that I usually get is always, like, can't, like, when people call you canon, which means, like you said, it's really close to the original. But I think the one uh, comment that I've gotten, or compliment I've gotten that stood out, was from this uh, CL cosplayer that I follow on Instagram who's got like buku amounts of followers and uh, <laughs> they did a shout out to me one time about my Len wigs about how they really like are baffled by my styling of Len wigs so I think that was probably my my favorite compliment ever yeah, yeah. all right so getting into a little bit more darker territory uh what was the worst cosplay comment you got for a cosplay? I looked Mexican for a ruby. That was so pale. Yeah, you started <laughs> that one. <laughs> I get that a lot. That's always my least favorite is when everyone's like, you're too dark to cosplay them. I'm like, okay, well, okay, bye. Dark like, to cosplay. Like, they always like, ruby puppy is so white. Why do you look so Mexican? Girl, fuck now. <laughs> well... I, well, it's like with, uh, you know, you're doing, you're doing uh, I, I don't understand that part because it's like uh, most of these cosplays are Japanese. That's what kills me. <laughs> and it's like, it's like all these, all these pe white people doing cosplays and nobody says Jack and it's like from a Japanese cosplay. There was a guy who made a video said that Japanese cosplayers should only do Japanese cosplays. And I was like, really? Then I want to know where all these big-eyed, big-boobed uh, Japanese girls are, because I've never seen them. <laughs> 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 unless, unless Kiddo can help me out with that. Have you seen these? <laughs> Did you go to Japan? Did you see these big-eyed Japanese girls? Because I want to see them <laughs> with blonde hair and pink hair. <laughs> all right. Anyways, <laughs> your worst comment. I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> Okay, so I, I get a lot of the race ones that are like, why why are you so dark and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, like, why are you okay. so dark, Lucas? <laughs> My worst comment I've ever gotten was, why is your nose like that? Why is your nose like that? Cancel, they have canceled. I'm like this, man. I don't know what you want me to say. Well, I know why your mouth is like that, because you got that from your mom. <laughs> <laughs> I got it from my daddy. Got it from my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
Because I was like, sometimes when I look at Lucas's mouth, I can't help but see her mom. Some, I see their mom sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, my mom's a pretty woman. Yeah, she, <laughs> she is. She really is. All right. So, and Sarah, Sarah, I'm gonna say it like I'm gonna say it like a Southerner, Sarah. Um, Sarah, what is the cutest cosplay that you've ever wore? Okay, so like I've been getting, I've been getting more and more cosplays this whole month. I know. So, What's um, the deal with that? You like, you you're like one of those guys, you, like one of those pedophiles <gasps> luring me with an ice cream cone when you every time you wear one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Come and photograph me. Look how cute I am. Okay. All right, go ahead. <laughs> My cutest one. Mm, my cutest one would have to be the Black Rock Shooter. Black Rock. You think that one's cute? I think it's so adorable. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I just never saw Black Rock Shooter as cute. I think it's. I think they're oh, stunning. Maybe uh, stunning might work, but yeah, I can see. I guess. I guess you could. What do you think, kiddo? What about you? When it comes to cute. <clears throat> I'm thinking it's either got to be my 2017 Snow Miku because it, it lights up and it's really frilly or either that or my Rory because Rory is really cute too. Rory looks a lot like a cat and it does have that cat. I would probably like say a yeah a cat. Yeah like a cat. Yeah if you look at him it does look like a cat you know it's like a cat. Yeah. Like she looks like a cat. Um, <clears throat> all right, so what I'm gonna do is divide these up by ten. Like, and the next time I let Lucas start off. All right, so um, okay, what is the cosplay? You know, if you no money ask or anything that you would love to do that you haven't yet. The ah. Uh, that's a tough one. There's a CL kimono version that I've had my eye on for a very long time. I, I think it's like a hundred sunflower. I don't know. It's it's a beautiful it, the CL kimono. Well, it's actually it's actually between two right now. Like um, I want to do a hawk, but like it's gonna take forever to like build the wings to be able to like stretch out and fly. And then my other one. Like, this one's like gonna be really kind of expensive because like I want to do Alice Baskerville, but I wanted to make it to where um I can get something to make her chain able to come out like it normally does in the um, anime. Yeah. Which is gonna be like pretty expensive. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, you know, that that's the whole thing. We can always dream, especially if we, you get that big model contract and be like, <laughs> Go big or go home. <laughs> <laughs> Be raining. <laughs> all right, so, all right, kiddo. So we got, um, all right. So, so we got some cosplays. Now we go into con. All right. So, what is your favorite con memory? Your best con memory? Um, honestly. I'm gonna go back to Kawakan of 2012 whenever I was still performing on stage. That was the best feeling in the world, honestly. Did you like performing on stage? I really did. I really did. When I used to, I used to sing, and I'd have little concerts, and I'd get to dress up in my little Vocaloid cosplays and sing for an audience, and everyone thought I was adorable because I was a <laughs> big kiddo. <laughs> Everybody thinks you're adorable. Yeah, I was like, um, went to some of your concerts. I've went to a lot of, uh, and to be honest with you, I would say nine years ago, I traveled to St. Louis and went to a mall, and there was a little sci fi cafe shop, and you were there, and Yuka Palm was performing. And then we did some. I remember that. Yeah, that was so a lot of it fun. was actually nine years ago we shot. I had pictures of you at the mall. We did pictures. Of, and I'm tell you what, I hate thinking that that mall is all closed down now. You can get, it's like you can go in there and take pictures of it because it's like 
but yeah it was a beautiful place it had these lights that would come you know it had like the glass lighting so the natural light would come in it was a great place to shoot and uh you guys look really great there and uh to think about that was exactly because that was my birthday too and uh basically my birthday present was going to film yukabon <laughs> That was, yeah. we're going to see you goodbye. <laughs> and, and I was like, happy birthday, by the way. Yeah, happy birthday. <laughs> Hope it's coconutty. It is coconut net nutty. And that's the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm scared of who's coming by today. So I never know what these guys are so crazy. Um, you know, you know, of course, I'm glad I don't live in Sierra's area right now. I'd probably get all kinds of crazy people <laughs> coming down there anymore. Really those guys will like give you a birthday present like you wouldn't believe all right so um <laughs> sierra where are we at we were at uh, your favorite con memory my favorite one was probably when i was um uh um uh, my favorite con memory was probably taking pictures of little kids as um one of my cinderella ones to get so excited yeah and i just like them faces you know the excitement faces i just loved it so i was like oh <laughs> and glad snow white one <laughs> yeah the uh well that's that, that you you done some princesses that was another thing too that you got into was the princesses <laughs> yeah. disney princesses so I'm like, I got like a Cinderella, I got a Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell? Oh, Snow I would love to see you as Tinkerbell. And Alice. And Alice. So I wanted to do Peter Pan so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Lucas as Peter Pan. <laughs> so that's your, that is your best con memory. How old were you then? That is. I love it. How old? Um, no, I ain't got nothing against it. Princess is a princess is a princess. Um, 14. Well, that's not too young. I was thinking you were tiny young then that day. Like you were a little bitty thing. No. No. No, because. All right. I just like it because the kids' face is. I was like, I'm not kidding. He's right here. I tell you what, that's, that's one job I'm. You know, with all this virus going around, I want those. Um, Princess party girls are doing any business right now. All right, so <laughs> all right, let's see here. So um, the what? What was Lucas? What was your favorite con memory you were uh, talking about again? Your favorite was the being on stage. Being on stage, that was the best for you. All right, so what is the worst con memory? Losing my wallet of CAD last year. Oh, wow. You lost your wallet? I had to cancel all my credit cards. I had my social security card in there because I'm dumb. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. Uh, I know. With that traveling, you got to be careful with that. <laughs> what about you? What's your worst con memory there, Sierra? I wasn't paying attention, and I missed the stairs and I fell. Ooh, how bad were you hurt? Everybody. How bad were you hurt? Um, I was hurt that bad on the first flight. <laughs> but Mr. Ego was hurt. Your ego was hurt? I had like second him. I like, I had burns like, I hit him in the bath for like 10 minutes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Which con was that? <laughs> It was the Riverview Inn one. Um, it was um, it wasn't last year, but it was the year before last year. Yeah, I, I haven't had one injury yet. You know, at a con. You know, I, uh, I and I tell you, I was like, I, when you start, like I said, when we did the dances, <laughs> and you get like, you you worry about something. I mean, I, I'll tell you, like we did Riverview Inn, and we did the. Um, 
um, we had, I mean, we just were nonstop that day. And it was like, this is what we're going to do. Our group is coming out to your con. This is, we're going to do blah, 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 blah. So we didn't stop to eat. We didn't stop hardly to drink or anything. Uh, I remember our dancer mom having to go get lunch for one of the dancer girls and everything like that. But this girl just kept on pounding and pounding. I mean, she did, she did a panel. She went from the panel. Then we did the outside Gangnam style thing. And then, you know, all this, and I watch her grab her side like this. And I knew that she's, because it was dehydration. I was like, honey, we need to get you some water. You're going to dehydrate yourself. But she, we started, I think, 9 o'clock and did not stop till 7 p.m. And kept on going, going without breaks and everything because it was such a busy con. And, but it's like, you're so scared that someone's going to hurt themselves. It's like when you guys are out that heat, you know, you're worried about dehydration and all that kind of stuff. And you know i can't imagine going oh we're gonna have such a good time and then you twist a leg or an ankle or something like that and you're like well there went my good time <laughs> oh no <laughs> I hate when that happens i know it what is your favorite no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite fictional romance all right, I'm gonna be really basic here, and I'm gonna shoot us all back to like 2010. But I, I still can't get over the uh, chip of Light and L from Death Note. The dynamic is just too good. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the love hate. Love hate relationship. <laughs> what about you, Alice? Your I mean, Sierra, what is your favorite um, fictional romance? I mean, it's, 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 it's a while since I watched it, but it was, I don't think they did it, but I think they had like some romance going between the two, but it was like one of the villains. Yeah. I think his name was Kai. He was the green one, the main one. And the pink one, I don't know. I think it was the, I don't know. I swear they had a little romance there. I swear it. <laughs> I'm gonna be reaching, but I swear that little romance there. I love it, little love and hate, and then love, love, and then hate, hate, and then little. I swear it's there. I swear it is. <laughs> <laughs> the line between love and hate there, <laughs> which is a good movie if you all haven't. Good one though. Yeah. <laughs> the thin line, of love and hate. <laughs> Love between love and hate is a thin line. <laughs> you know, if that's so true, I, I don't know why. I, I, mean, I guess I got a lot of girls in love with me. <laughs> if, the, if there's a thin line between love and hate, you know. You know, I, you, know you, you get into these weird situations. It's like I was telling Lucas about, you know, working with a dancer, a young lady who, I, you know, girl had a crush on me. And it was really weird and, you know, being really young and everything. And. And then, like, you know, the worst thing about it, she would come around, like, while I'm talking to the dancers' moms and stuff, and uh, try to get me to mm -hmm. do things. And I was like, you know, their parents, like, oh, God, what are you, what are you doing around here? I was like, I, I don't know. She's, and I try to play it off. Oh, she's just being a kid and everything. <laughs> or whatever, you know. It's like, it, it's nothing like anime. Anime is like really easy, you know, like, oh, it's my senpai and everything. And it's it's not like that in real life. <laughs> it's like, no. I mean, them, 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 them senpais can get you in trouble, <laughs> get you in jail. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> All, right. All right. So cool. So that was uh, what? Okay. Let me see. Uh, Lucas, what is your favorite motivational song? What song gets you motivated and pumped up? That's, this should not be a hard question. Hold on. Let me think. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's so many songs that make me feel so many different things, but motivation, um, <laughs> I think, I think I'm going to just honestly put like a blanket answer over this and say anything falling in reverse gets me super pumped so i'll stick with that i love that band i've seen them like seven times live right yeah what about you sarah is there a song that gets you pumped up 
You already know my boys, the BTS, and they're not today. If you want me to do anything, you play that song, I'm doing it right then and there. <laughs> <laughs> There's the army right there. I don't buddy. know what it is, but it's just, I don't know what it is, but I just, do, 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 I gotta go, go, go. <laughs> oh, me. All right. <laughs> All right, so, all right, Lucas, uh, what ideal cosplay group? I mean, what would be the perfect ideal cosplay group for you? I would, I would, want, I would be the one, all of my Vocaloid family or all of the Black Butler cast. Any of those two? Yeah. <laughs> so many feels there. What about you? What's, what's the ideal cosplay group for you here? The ideal cosplay group for me is the whole, um, oh my god, Akashi group. The whole group. <laughs> that'd be the yeah, perfect that'd be fun. idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get my hands on the Itachi one, but. You'd be Itachi? <laughs> I would be Itachi. <laughs> That's so funny. I didn't talk to you for like four years. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what movie or anime <laughs> moment made you cry? Oh lord. Where's my tissue bag? Get the tissues out. Right. Oh no. <laughs> I'll just use a rag. <laughs> what, what, what anime or movie moment made you cry? All right, I I think my answer is gonna be when I was watching Anohana and they're like describing the events leading oh. up to how like their little childhood friend passed away no. and why they all like didn't want to be friends with each other. They like relived that moment and it was it was really sad. I cried. Yeah. That was that. <laughs> yeah, it's such a sad one, but it's a really good anime. If you haven't seen it, please watch it. It's good. What about you, Sierra? What makes that Heart of Stone break for you? <laughs> <laughs> you already know what my baby and Tachi does. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> my baby died. I, I couldn't leave the bed for a week. I just kept crying and crying. <laughs> oh, you, you know what movie gets me every time, and I hate saying this, and and a lot of feelings there because it was one of the first date movies was <laughs> The Lion King, and really? I every time when uh, you know uh, Simba is scolded by his you know long lost dad, it just. It just grabs my heart, and it's like so tough. And I try to explain it to some people, and people are like, "We don't understand it." I said, "Well, you know, you don't have a connection with, you know, you, you know, like I do. You know, it's like with this film because, like, that film to me, I just every time it just like, especially uh, Robert Gilliam when he's doing that scene with with uh, Simba and all that, and it's like, oh gosh, please don't do it. You know, <laughs> I can't stand it. It's like, oh please, you know." <laughs> You know, it's bad enough yeah, that don't you, do it, yeah, it's bad enough when you, you you see Mufasa die at the end, you know, die at the beginning, you know. But it's like right. then it That's just hard enough, and seeing how Simba reacts to it's what's harder for yeah, me. Yeah, it's just it, it's a hard movie not to be emotional watching it. But you know, I hate to bring that up, but I know this is not about me. But <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, it's okay. number fourteen. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite con food? When you go to convention, what's the food that you get the most that you have to eat? I think it's standard to say Pocky. Pocky, Pocky standard. What about you, Sierra? What, what's, what's, when you go to a con, what's the one thing you look forward to to eat? I can't remember what it's called. You can't remember what it's called? <laughs> Was it? Describe it. No, it's like really doughy. It's like really doughy and it has like different, you can have different paste in the middle of it. Mochi. Yeah, I know no, what you're talking I about. Know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I you can get, now you can get those at the Asian <laughs> food. You can yeah, you get those at Asian uh, market now, Sarah. Show, show it up again. Hold them up again. 
Yeah, I get those. I got those for. Um, oh uh, yeah, God. I got those. You can get those at the Asian market now in Clarksville. There. <laughs> oh, like I got some teeny tiny ones. Yeah. We have one here. Yes, you do. Yeah, have you been? You know when to go, Sarah. I didn't know. We had yeah, one you here. do. Okay, because and then if you go by the airport, there. All right. If you go to the one there, go on Easter because they have like a pallet on Easter of like jelly candies for like a dollar. And then we're talking about like you can get like this much jelly candy for a dollar. And they just like the dummies you sent me one time. Yeah. Those are my favorite. Yeah, those are my favorite too. And the thing is like like Clarksville, like you go to Clarksville anime i mean not anime but clarksville's uh asian market it has a different smell than it's kind of like real a little rougher and then st louis's uh but you go to clarksville's it's like they got the palette full of stuff because like on holidays because you can get them really cheap and it's like and you know and then you go like say now like you get into st louis's area every all the girls there that come in there look like k-pop dancers <laughs> Ones that, it, it, you, I don't know if you know which one I'm talking. You know the one that has the like expensive uh, bubble tea bar there in St. Louis. They got a bubble tea too. Yeah, they got a bubble tea bar, and then we'll have to try we'll that. More about yeah, the bubble tea bar is like filled with all these college students, like you know. And then you go and like they're beautiful, gorgeous Asian college students, and they'll be hanging out there. And then you go into the store, and it's like beautiful Asian girls. They all look like K-pop. <laughs> girl dancers and stuff and you go in there and it's got a beautiful smell it's all clean and everything Clarksville you walk in there and you're like it smells like China <laughs> it seems you walk in welcome to that China town. China town. <laughs> but it's like yeah go there during the Easter's here and get you some you like uh, some jelly cane I, I just get stock up on them because I love them to death what's your, your favorite jelly? appetizer what's your favorite appetizer you get Calamari. Calamari. Mm. What's the appetizer? Uh, you know, like when you go to Applebee's or Friday's, or oh, Charlie's, you can get the appetizer list and usually get it before the main course. It's an appetizer. You know what appetizer is. Mozzarella sticks. Mozzarella sticks. Hot wings. Mozzarella sticks. You like mozzarella sticks? Oh, like that? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> Panera bread mac and cheese. That's what everybody goes loves. The Panera bread mac and cheese. I'm um, I love mac and cheese. Oh yeah. You got mac and cheese? I'm sold. All right, so. All right, so what's your favorite dessert? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> mac and cheese is the dessert. Ooh. That reminds me. I got Missouri melon went for me in the refrigerator today. Favorite dessert. I think I think the crepes I had in Japan crepes. Were probably my favorite. Mm, I love crepes. Are those like those really thin pancakes? Yeah, but I wouldn't say it. <laughs> I really like some crepes. Hey, after this, let's go get some crepes. No, no, I wouldn't say it though. <laughs> All right, what's your <laughs> what's your favorite desserts here? She probably goes. I can't say mac and cheese again. I guess I would have to go with. Baskin Robbins cause BTS goes to BTS. Brownies are nice. <laughs> I like me some special brownies. Which one is it? Which one is it, Sierra? <clears throat> special brownies? You gonna say brownies? Yeah, brownies. Okay. <laughs> You know, you know the best place. You know what my favorite desserts is when I when I go to Clarksville is is, is the going to Baskin Robbins and getting the chocolate and peanut butter ice cream is like the best at Baskin Robbins. Now the thing is, now the K-pop group um, was before uh, BTS that sponsored Baskin Robbins was. Uh, you remember who that was? No. Orange caramel. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Ice cream, oh. bing, bing, bing. Ice cream, bing, bing. bing. 
and you and that was the spunk. And I love going in Clarksville's Baskin Robbins. You go in there and you go in there, you get the chocolate and peanut butter. And the thing is, is like uh, I love the Baskin Robbins, and it's like a lot of people don't know about Baskin Robbins. I guess when I was a kid. The big treat was going to Baskin Robbins, and so still today, oh, I gotta get the chocolate and peanut butter from Baskin Robbins. It's like, and then all that. I don't do the cones. I do the cups. I do two scoops, and I'm good to go. I'm ready to go. You know, it's like, oh, I'm going to Clarksville. I'm going to get some Baskin Robbins yeah. this weekend. <laughs> Not because orange caramel. I was going there before orange caramel or BTS. So there. All right, so. <clears throat> You know, see, and for, and got the new board board. Yeah, exactly. And for y'all who know, don't know, you know, Baskin Robbins is really big in Korea, so keep that in mind. All right, so um, where are we at? Okay, I'm just going to say, how do you wake up in the morning? I have a small alarm, and I groan, <laughs> and I sob, and, you sob. and then I get up. Okay. What about you, Sierra? How do you how do you get up in the morning? How do you how do you wake up in the morning? I get up when my cat wants me to get up. <laughs> <laughs> Your cat wants you to get up. When it's time, he'll just he'll tag me on my face. He'll know he'll let me know when it's time to get up. Let that be eight o'clock. Let that be ten o'clock. Let that be four o'clock. <laughs> is, is this what you see in the morning? When you decide. <laughs> no, I see. <laughs> Boxes. Okay, here we go. Here's this is gonna be a fun one. Let's go blast from the past. Um, blast from the past. Oh, did you play any sports in school? And what sport did you play? I was on the competition team of Taekwondo. We went nationals. Oh wow. What well, about you, see? I didn't play none. You didn't play none. I have weak bones. You have weak bones. <laughs> Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> Weak bones. But a strong heart. Mm -hmm. That's all that matters. Exactly. Weak bones with a strong heart. That breaks when an anime character dies. No. Oh. <laughs> are you you're not like glass, are you from from <laughs> the the movies? <laughs> yeah, read a bunch of mama bought you a bunch of comic books and it's like there's always an arch villain. Alright. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. What is okay? How about you, Lucas? What is your acting experience? What's your experience with acting? Uh, like acting parts, well, and plays, videos. I wow. Well, whenever I was in middle school and high school, I did a lot of plays. Um, I had a few leading roles, and they even elected me and had me go to this like. A few different schools were selected to do this joint uh, production of Shakespeare's Hamlet, and I got to play Hamlet in that too. So I've got a decent amount of acting experience. Awesome. What about you, Sierra? Any plays, videos? What's your What's your experience in acting? I'm <laughs> um, sorry. Um, but anyways, I was in theater for um four years but you know I have stage fright <laughs> but then I did I did um, the talent shows and I did the little k-pop dancing and then I did the pageant mm -hmm. and stuff so I guess <laughs> well, you know I threw up like almost all the time afterwards <laughs> yeah that's one thing that, that I've always wanted to try to get into some skits and stuff that y'all can do and it's like if we could do it you know like some improv of some sort because oh man that's the, that's the only thing i really miss with like working with uh, like ren and ash was putting them on the spot to do improv like you know they were all about the improv and we do this is the setup now we have to do the scene and they would just play it off so good it would just you couldn't help but laugh and you knew people in the comment sections are just laughing and um, because they just needed you know like the place what's happening and the characters and then they would just you know like okay shoot let's go and go from there and most of the times it would just be me asking them questions and then they would come up with like really funny answers 
<laughs> it worked really really well and and they just loved it and i loved it too and it and it's like uh it was it's just great and uh but you know i love doing that i like to get back in some improv again one of these days we will maybe hopefully <laughs> in between music videos or something like that <laughs> All right, here we go. What is your, who was your first waifu or anime boy crush? First? Yeah. Tamaki Suo. Tamaki Suo. Because Oran was my first anime. <laughs> what about you, here? But my lifelong husbando would be Sebastian. Oh. <laughs> What about you, Sue? My first ever was Alice from Pandora Hearts. Which one now? Alice from Pandora Hearts. <laughs> really? <laughs> Gosh. I was like, yes! She's mine! She's mine! Oh, man! She's mine! <laughs> <laughs> My waifu would have to be our lord and savior, Hatsune Miku. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I just it's like that's that's a thing it's like getting into the whole uh, dresses and stuff and it's like i'm all about that it's like i can get so sidetracked it's like i am not making this up like someone's like oh got this cosplay of this you know um x-men blah 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 and i'm going to put all this stuff in there and then all of a sudden you get sidetracked by well i've got this little red uh riding hood uh, low lita uh uh you know dress with the thing go down there or and i'm like or you know madam red uh cosplay and it's like i totally i'm gone i'm like x who i'm sorry <laughs> It's like My two a lot of fun. Uh, Shooting that one a lot of fun. Well, yeah, it's like it, it's it's hard for me. I guess the prop thing is you just don't see those dresses every day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like you see everything else. Like you see people in jeans, or you see them in uh, this, whatever. And then someone comes in with this beautiful gown. You're like, <laughs> hold up, don't move. <laughs> like I gotta take a picture of you, and you know it's like like Sarah coming up as Elizabeth. Oh my God! It's like you know when we were doing the Black Butler shoot, and I was like, I was so afraid. Oh, she's gonna look like a tiny little girl, and it's gonna look funny. No, she did look like a little girl, but she looks so adorable. <laughs> it's like that's one thing i regret is with all the uh the entire time she was lizzie i was Eloise, so i didn't get any cl and lizzie pictures yeah it was yeah i i know it was a weird we, we didn't have good um <laughs> we could or, organization that day right. but <laughs> and there's a little bit of experimenting on my part and I, but you know i just my thing is just go at it we'll, we'll just like if there's any mistakes we'll try to clean them up but, yeah, but yeah. wow yeah I really appreciate that lace front wig. And all the materials look really high quality in this cosplay. I love it. Look at Sierra's look. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think of that one, Sierra? <laughs> what? Perfection. Wow. Wow. Wowza. So pretty! Like, it's so very detailed and like, oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm just going over this. What, 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 do you know, y'all know which show that is from? That's The Witcher. The Witcher. Ain't nothing The Witcher. <laughs> <laughs> You you like playing CL better than you do uh, Alo Aloise Trancy Lucas, right? Yeah, I think so. You think? <laughs> I, I do believe so. I've got a lot more versions of CL than I do. Alice. I know you did, and and it was like when we were at the shoot, I was like, you had all these costumes <laughs> laid out, and we never shot all of them. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I was packing them all up in the car, and I was like, man, I wanted this one and this one. 
and I was like, we sh shut down a little early too, but you know, it was like, I, my battery, that's the first time I, I ever had a battery run down. I wasn't even thinking about it. And, um, uh -huh. we were shooting all day though. It was so funny. Everyone arrived there before us, and then I was the first one in cosplay ready. Yeah, that was that was the funniest thing. Uh, well, you actually were there pretty soon, and I told everybody, I said, you know, Kittle will probably be the last one there, and you weren't, which was... <laughs> yeah. And every time I say something and it ends up being wrong, everybody's got to throw me out on that. It's like, you told me Lucas <laughs> would be there later. <laughs> Here's the Widowmaker. What do you think of that? Wow! I want to know what those pants are made out of. All of the materials look really high quality in this one, too. And the detail on the jacket. Wow. Marvelous. Yeah. And the pieces, too. Oh, my goodness. What's that? I wonder if she did all that herself. That's really impressive. I'm going to read the description on this. Please do. <laughs> Full set, including not safe for work shots, available on my Patreon. Not safe for what? Oh was boy. she killing people with her gun? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> that's that's one that surprises me. It's like, really? And they got a... They got a not safe work for that one? <laughs> There's a, yeah, there's a Patreon, and then there's fans only they got now. Yeah, the OnlyFans. The OnlyFans. I feel like everyone has an OnlyFans now. I can't believe it. It's crazy. Yeah. What do you think of that cosplay Widowmaker Huntress there? Me? No, Sierra, Sierra, you already know what you think. <laughs> <laughs> And then after this one, we'll do one just, more. Stop, stop. Just come on. Work with me. This is a... There you go. You want to be right there? This is a no, kind of a simple right one. There. You can be right there. Oh. Wow. I'm impressed with the composition of this photo. She has beautiful eyes. I really love how the makeup's done, too. Yeah. And the hair really clashes with it. I really mm -hmm. love for the hair. All of the warm tones of the photo, like there's no like splashes of color or anything. It's all warm tones and it's very beautiful. It makes it really more elegant, I would like to say. Yeah. It's a very good photo. See, I think with one thing. Black costume <clears throat> with the orange. Because I haven't shot Sierra that much. And like we've just scratched the surface of what we'll be able to do. Uh, with her because I like like I gotten to the point where I, I can I know your face pretty good uh, Lucas and I like I said we're just scratching the surface with us here I'm I'm, I'm I'm excited to see what we can bring out because especially now I want to do more uh, por uh, po uh, what do you call it portrait shots because you saw those portraits we did with you and I was like man that came out really good <laughs> Didn't you think so, Lucas? Maybe if I learn how to do makeup, it would be even better. But we're working on that. You're working on the makeup. <laughs> I like I've never worn makeup before, so yeah, it's new, it's a new it's a new thing for you. Well, it's like I, I mean I worked with Ashley so much who had a makeup girl, and um, I mean we're, we're you know we've got a makeup girl we can call if we need stuff like that, but you know eventually uh, trying to figure out. Um, you know getting the things out but i tell you the thing is is <laughs> i've got two issues I, I mean this last makeup girl we obviously had an issue but the only problem i have with this other makeup girl is like uh you know about the nepotism part i'm i don't know i mean she's I hate bringing family into it <laughs> if i don't have to all right i feel like it took me eight years to develop like a makeup style that actually flattered my face it took because i always like experimented with different like kinds of eyeliner and stuff but i don't f think i really figured it out until like two years ago yeah it's um I started using like the red liners and stuff i feel like i'm a lot more like uh happy with how i do my makeup now than i was back then. well 
<laughs> yeah, well, the thing that... I've never done my makeup. Never did your makeup. Someone else has to do it for you? I've never. Yeah, well, like, when I do dances, I would pay someone to do my makeup, but I've never done my makeup. You pay somebody to do your makeup? Yeah. When? <laughs> <laughs> and I got so much makeup, like, I've got, like... Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten makeup palettes. Yeah. What? No way. That's awesome. <laughs> you got? I got the I got the Jeffrey. Oh, I got eleven actually. <laughs> you got the Jeffrey Star palette? Yeah, I got the blood. I got the blue blood, the blood lust, and the blood sugar palette. And then I have the James Ooh. Charles Rainbow palette. And then I have my favorite, which I've never used. This Ice Fantasy palette. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I got like. I got 90s and stuff. <laughs> but I don't know how to use it, so I'm just like, it's just, it's just sitting there. Cause I don't know how to use it. So if I, if so, if I like got Michelle, she, she, she you just give her the stuff to put it on you. Was that would that way we would have to do it? That yeah, cause I even got the Jeffrey Star makeup brushes. I mean, yeah, Jeffrey Star makeup brushes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Michelle wouldn't like to know that because I was like, because I was worried about getting Michelle's stuff and I didn't know where to get her to do stuff. But it's like, okay. Oh yeah, I got like, I got like a whole, a whole thing of makeup. <laughs> Y'all still got any of that stuff we got from the EDM shoot, like those uh, glowing stars and all that? Yeah, we kept them all. For, uh, in case we do another shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna do, let you guys react to one more. Oh, Ooh, I know this. I don't like this. Wow. Wow, I love the editing on this photo with all the rose petals. And I like how it's an action shot with her dress still in the air. This is a really cool photo. Yeah. And I like how the hands are like reaching for each other. Uh huh. That's oh really cool. God. I love it. I just and how the justice all uh, flows in the back too. Wow! I want to read the description on this. <laughs> Follow my own fans. Great. Okay. What is that supposed <laughs> to mean? <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive selfies backstage, not eighteen and plus. Okay. <laughs> you guys, I have actually stopped posting to Devin Art and I made an announcement. And, and one thing is, like, I watch Devin Art people go to Instagram, which is kind of what I'm doing. Then I've got my own blog and everything. And then you can, like, if you get so many views on your blogs, you get paid for the pictures up there. So it's like, Devin Art just, my biggest thing is, I can't open Devin Art now. I hate the way it's set up now without sometimes actually getting sick. I mean, like, they'll post stuff that is just so gross that it's like you just open it up, like you open up on your phone or whatever. Ooh. You know? <laughs> I mean, literally go ooh. And it's like I can go to Instagram at least and not be, like, totally grossed out. But, man, some of the people just, like, do some really weird crazy stuff on there but it's like you can develop a little fan base there but you know it's really not it not it didn't help me i thought i was gonna like it and everything like that so i've just gone to instagram alone uh posting you know with my pictures and things like that and I, and like I said the blog is helping out as well for the all right guys i'm glad you survived the um what do you call it Q and A today, Hi, and uh, look at the kitty. We got kitties and kitty. pretties, a fish, <laughs> and all that. Sarah, as like I said, I need to get some more stuff done with you now. I mean, I feel like I feel bad with you getting on all these cosplays and not getting to do the photo shoots and stuff. Who's your daddy? Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs>